guys, welcome to my channel. Today, I'm gonna tell you about my new piercings. Hey guys, so I was thinking about posting a video about my tongue piercings, but I still can't talk properly. So let me know if I should do it now or wait till my speech gets better. I don't know. Hey guys, so today is Wednesday and I got my tongues pierced on Saturday night. I'm in a lot of pain and see that? That hurt. That tongue, the left side is, um, has like pus coming out of it, but this side's fine. It hurts way more than I expected. I did not expect this at all. Eating really sucks. I'm trying not to eat too much because by the time I'm done eating, I'm just like suffering really bad. So Hi guys, so I'm on day, I guess day six. I suck at counting. <laughs> I suck at math. Like I got it done Saturday night. And today's Thursday morning, so I really don't know. Um, I'm, I'm in so much pain. I can't even tell you guys. Like this morning, I was like actually considering going to the hospital because of how much pain I was in. Um, this is probably like, I, I honestly want to say, getting them pierced has been worse than the tongue split. If that makes any sense, only because with the tongue split, I feel like it's way more intense the pain but like now it's oh someone just walked by <laughs> but now it's um it's like a prolonged pain it's like it's not over in a week or two it's supposedly like i saw someone posting saying that it took them like two months to fully heal they said that they couldn't eat properly till a month later so at first i was like trying to eat things and like i've just given up on eating because it hurts way too much i'm like suffering while i'm eating and now i'm suffering like i mean like after i eat then i'm like really suffering so i just got a booster juice and obviously ice helps and like cold things but here's what it looks like today it hurts I don't know if I could ever recommend anyone gets this piercing. Like, I'll tell people to go get tongue splits. Like, go do it. Because, like, you get over that pain pretty quick. But this, this is really bad. Like, it hurts down here. Like, right here hurts. It's just... And the balls keep hitting, um, like, inside of my mouth. Like, here. I have a bottom. It's so sore. Um, but, yeah that's the update for today and tomorrow is my birthday i really didn't plan this out properly as usual i didn't look into the healing time hey guys i'm on day six and i'm feeling a million times better um yesterday was a really rough day i wanted to go to the hospital because i was in so much pain but now i'm just i'm fine um these have been a lifesaver ice caps i just get it with no cream that way it's vegan and i couldn't eat yesterday because um my tongue was really swollen and it just hurt way too much and today i finished half of this burrito um taco bell i just asked for no cheese and no sour cream and then it's vegan and obviously i'm not a healthy vegan because i eat junk food but it's healthier than eating animal products in my opinion my tongue feels a lot better it hurts to do that it's better to just keep my tongue in my mouth um, I still have pain in my throat but that's okay I'm super happy because it's my birthday and I was hoping that I would feel better on my birthday and I definitely feel a lot better my speech I would say is better but I'm sure it can get better than it is right now. So we'll see. Okay, bye guys.
know, I never felt like I was good at presentations in school because I was always shy. So I feel like I feel the same way recording videos. I feel like I'm doing a presentation for school, um, except now it's for the whole world. So it's like even scarier or even more scary. I know I haven't been uploading videos for the past week. Um, I was just waiting until I could talk better because see, I feel like I still can't fully talk properly yet, but it's definitely better than day one. So last Saturday, I got my tongues pierced. And um, I was really regretting it a few days later. Like it really, really hurt. And I was so like, I was so disappointed in myself because I feel like I have a really high pain tolerance. And I mean, I split my tongue. So how is a piercing hurting me so much? Um, when I was in high school, I actually pierced my tongue, like, I want to say like four or five times. Um, cause I would always like want to switch it up. So I would like pierce something for like a month and then change it and do another piercing and take the one that I did out. So, um, yeah, when I pierced my tongue, I just went to my garage. I know like, I don't recommend doing this. Obviously I recommend going to a piercer, but when I was young, I just did whatever I wanted. Um, so I found a nail that like seemed the same size as a tongue ring and I already had bought tongue rings. So then I lit the nail on fire like to like disinfect it and then just looked in the mirror and poked it in. And that didn't even hurt. I felt like I didn't even have any swelling. So then when I went to get my tongues pierced, I figured like, okay, now I'm getting them like professionally done. Like this should not have any issues at all, but they swelled really bad. Um, which I know is normal, but uh, it really hurt. And I didn't expect it to be a long process to heal because again, I expected what I went through in high school. So when that didn't happen, like I was just so upset. Cause I mean, if I knew that I wouldn't have been able to eat so easily right after, like I would have pigged out right before going, but I didn't do that. So. I was like having so many cravings. When I came back home, my friends were here and they had ordered vegan pizza. So everyone was eating vegan pizza. I actually like forced myself <laughs> to eat a slice and that didn't go well. Um, I basically just kept trying to eat and I found it was just not working out. It was just better to not eat. I didn't eat as much as I you know, would normally eat, obviously, but the easiest thing that um, I could have was like a piece of bread with vegan butter on it. And I would like rip it up into small pieces and like put it at the back of my mouth, like right there, and then just chew that. And I bet people are gonna want like ask me, oh, what did your family say? So um, I saw my grandma and of course, like I'm Iraqi, Middle Eastern people like show love with food. And she's trying to make me eat so many things. And I was like, I can't like, you know, feed the boys. And she's like, no, you eat. I'm like, no, no, I'm full. She's like, just eat a bit. And I'm like, I can't, my mouth hurts. And then she's like, why? Because you split your tongue in half. And that was the first time she had ever mentioned it to me. And obviously I knew my family would find out because of it being on YouTube, but she had never said anything up until that point. And I was like, no, no, I'm like, my tongue split is healed, but I got it pierced. And I was like, and she's so cute. She thought that the piercings were like pushing my tongue back together. Like as if I did some kind of procedure to fix my tongue, but fix my tongue. But I was like, no, no, it's just decoration. <laughs> um, so yeah, I was, I was really not eating a lot. I kind of like got off topic, but, um, yeah, I wasn't eating a lot. Um, my girlfriend kept trying to like make me different things to eat. And it was just like really painful. And then she gave me oatmeal that was like really watered down, which was like so satisfying. I drank it with a straw. Honestly, I feel like I lived off of ice caps this past week. Like ice caps were really doing it for me. They were like soothing my mouth. I went to Booster Juice, tried to have a smoothie there, but it was like so acidic, all the fruit and stuff. It just felt like my tongue was like burning. So I recommend drinking ice caps with no cream because then they're vegan and yeah they really helped my tongue feel better um so yeah ice caps bread and butter that's what i would recommend if you pierce your tongues 
So um, I definitely feel like having the piercings makes it a bit harder to move my tongue around as much as before, obviously, because now there's the two balls that, sorry, the four balls that um, are like obviously in the way, but I have to downsize my jewelry soon and um, that should allow me to have like some more movement. I'll try to show you guys up close. So see this side? Doesn't that look so cool, that that hole? It's just because it's sw like so swollen that the ball is like pushed down. And then I have the same thing on this side on the bottom. I just love stuff like that. I would, you know, I used to want to be a surgeon just because I think it's like fascinating to be able to like open up someone and fix them pretty much. But I mean, I, I'm really into like anatomy. So stuff like this doesn't gross me out. I know some people like freak out, but I find it like so interesting. So let me show you some tricks that I can do with my new pierced tongues. It's so sore. Um, so it does hurt. I have some pain here. It'll go away though. I'm just so happy. Like today I went out and had sushi with my friends and my sons obviously. And it was like so satisfying. I ate so much. Like I, I haven't even eaten since we went out for lunch. Obviously all you can eat had so much food and I haven't had to eat since. I was like, I'm not eating until tomorrow. Um, but you know how that feeling is when you haven't eaten in so long and you just want to eat so much what I'm really glad about is my piercer Tommy he's amazing and honestly if you want to get something pierced you should go to someone that's good looking he's super handsome and it was like the, while he was piercing me I couldn't even like focus on anything else I was just like looking at him total hard eyes and everything and um, yeah if you get pierced, find a hot piercer and then you just won't care about the needle or anything. Not that I care about needles at all, but like if you're one of those people that get scared. Um, I forgot what I was gonna say. Hmm. Oh yeah, I remember now. He, I'm really glad that he pierced it so symmetrically because like I'm big on symmetry and I was so nervous that it would kind of be off because obviously your body isn't symmetrical. So like it's impossible to be like 100%, but I feel like he did a really good job um, making it even. I feel like if I stick out my tongue far enough, it automatically just crosses. I wonder like why. Yeah, a lot of people ask me if I lost any length on my tongue when I got it split, and I didn't. I've always had a long tongue and it didn't get any shorter. Oh, it's hard to twist my, almost drooled there. It's hard to twist my tongue. I don't know if you guys um, all my other videos but I can like twist my tongue maybe when I get smaller jewelry I'll be able to do it again and I know I'm still talking weird so it'll go away eventually ah oh that hurts I can't twist it I'm missing an earring, it's okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I'm super excited because my first tongue split video hit just over 200,000 views in two months, which is awesome for me, I, it makes me excited. I would really love it if you guys could subscribe to me or share my videos or leave a like, a comment, anything. I try to respond to everyone. I feel like I've responded to every comment. If it's a positive comment, 
you get a response. If it's negative, I just ignore you because that's my motto in life. If someone's negative, you ignore them. And if someone's positive, you give them your energy because that's just how it should go. You'll be a lot happier. If you're already subscribed to me, thank you so much. It means a lot. I get really excited when I see that I have new subscribers and you know, I feel like my channel's growing. I remember when I didn't want to start a YouTube channel because I was just like, I don't want to start it having zero subscribers. It feels so weird, but it's grown fast and I'm happy. So thank you guys. Bye.